to get a different switch because I have a full drive three and a full drive two that does the exact same thing. So, and it's an awesome, awesome pedal. I really, really can't beat this tone that you get out of this pedal, but it really stinks when you're trying to play and you got set up and everything and then your signal goes out. See how easy that was to get that carbon off of there? Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and knock out both sides just in case accidentally it goes in there the wrong way. The other side basically just has a little layer of like some kind of uh, grease, some kind of little lube on it just to, so when this rocks back and forth, it moves easy. But I'm gonna go ahead and knock off that layer just in case. You helping me make a YouTube video, baby? Yeah. Little Lowell, can you get the phone, please? Is this like a for real YouTube video? Yes, people want to know how to fix their full drives and their tire. It's a great pedal. I'm just helping them. No, 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 no. Thank you, baby. Hey. It's making a YouTube video. Okay, this is not working that good, so let me try another method here. Hey, Dad. Yes. Uh, I don't know. Okay. Wherever. Okay, this is working out a lot better. Are you gonna edit, edit this out? Uh, maybe, maybe not. People are gonna have to suffer. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm just running a, the plate across the sandpaper or this little block of, of a sanding block. And it seems to take it right off. See how clean that is? And I will show you what one looks like. It's corroded. It's corroded. Let's rub it a few times on here. Oh, Lord, why is my phone ringing again? Okay. Bam. Two seconds. Okay. Last one. And then I'm going to show you how it all goes back together. So just bear with me. I know this is painful, but it's real easy to do. And I think that if you take the time to do this, you will get your pedal to work for, like I said, maybe enough to a year. But as soon as that signal drops off again, then you know that it's time to uh, do this again. And it's not that hard of a procedure to actually do. So now all of them are clean. Just gonna drop them back in the compartment. Okay, probably be a good idea. Those contacts look pretty clean in there, but I always like to just run a uh, scrape them just in case there's something carbon on there that I can't see. I don't think it'd be a good idea to put the sandpaper down there because you might uh, get some particles in there and there's a lot of lube in here and you don't really wanna mix all that up so just the best thing is just get a sharp edge your screwdriver or something and then uh just scrape it and get that layer of carbon off victoria what's wrong with you low what's going on all right almost done here so you just take your little take your little plates and just drop them back in there the way you pull them out nothing special about that they got a little spot that they need to go in. You'll see that. It's real easy. Don't be afraid. There's only one way to go in, one way to come out. They they they, they poke the you. Japanese word for um, engineer it so that you, it can only go on one way. So it's all in there. They're all dropped in there. And let me show you what that looks like real quick. Okay. Let's see here. Let's see how clean and clear that is now now you're going to be good for six to eight months so now all you have to do is set this up a little higher and kind of get a bird's eye view of what i'm doing here hopefully my camera won't fall then you drop this in this way which is the way you pulled it out okay and then you drop your switch casing on top of that And you pop it all back together. And then once you pop it all back together, all you gotta do is squeeze your, your tabs back on. 
you can either use pliers or something to squeeze it back on and then your t your your switch will be back on there and then you'll be good to go for six to eight months thank you youtube okay youtube the hardest part of this is to get this screwdriver you got to get a little bitty flat headed screwdriver and you get on the side of the switch and this top part's going to come off and all you got to do is get up underneath these little pins like that and pry them up okay and then bam i've already done the i no i actually i didn't i put this back together but basically on this side you just push this here that and then it comes apart and then you'll see the second part of the video after it comes apart but that's the hardest part is getting this little screwdriver and popping these off and then when you put it back on i'll just do that real quick since i'm here all you gotta do is just lock them back underneath there's a ledge there it's kind of hard to see that's why i've got these goggles on because they've got bifocals but you just you just uh make sure you get up underneath that ledge and pop that those metal pieces back and you probably need to probably probably be better off with some little needle nose doing this or something but i'm being lazy right now and getting not getting the right tool but this actually tool is actually doing a pretty good job so that's why i'm kind of using it because if you can see it's been in those tur those tabs up underneath that little ledge i don't know if you can see that ledge on the side there i'm going to make sure you do it on both sides because the last thing you want to do is hit that pedal and the whole pedal the whole um switch comes apart on you so once you get it on there you make sure it works okay it's working good on one of my other pedals i actually put some some uh uh hot glue on the back side of it just so it would uh if it did kind of come apart it would be a little bit more controlled so let me go ahead and slide this back in here So you got to kind of cont contract that switch so that it goes back where it goes, where it needs to go. There it goes. Fall right back into place. Okay. And then you just put your, your, your little screws back on there, your lock washers and... Actually... Lock what the washer goes on first. This actually goes on the bottom side. I just don't feel like pulling it back off again. It's no big deal. Put that back on there and you're good to go. Thank you, YouTube. Okay, YouTube. Sorry about all this moving around and whatnot. My camera's not wanting to stay balanced. But now it's back in there. You can see that the on and off switch is back in there. It's not going anywhere. Now it should be good to go for a long time. Uh, all you got to do, is, this battery comes out. You want to take it out. You, I, I would suggest taking it out while you do this. I mean, this is an awesome pedal. Look at this. This guy's the person who built this. He's got his name engraved on there. He's got the date that he made this. This is an awesome pedal. So it's definitely worth taking apart and fixing before you have to go out and buy another pedal that doesn't do the job that this does. The excellent part of this pedal is the boost is, is separate from the on off. Uh, they did make an, another boost. It's just a separate boost pedal that I'm thinking about buying as well. It's like 90 bucks or something like that. It's really good. I, EP, EB1 or something like that. And you just put your screws on there and you're good to go. Should be good to go for a good eight months. Thank you, YouTube. Peace out.